from the Storm Team 8 Tracking Center. This is a severe weather alert. This line of showers and storms is moving so quickly through West Michigan that I think in another hour or so we're going to be in the clear. But we still have storms on the board that are impacting some of our viewers. If you live in Muskegon County, down through Kent County, Ottawa County, good news. You've officially been dropped from the severe thunderstorm watch. So even if you see a few more showers pop up, they are not expected to be severe by any means. We still do have some active severe thunderstorm warnings near Lansing tracking off to the east. And we're also keeping our eye on this batch of showers and storms near Benton Harbor. Right now, these are not strong enough to trigger a severe thunderstorm warning, but you can see they do have some bright reflectivities, which means some heavy rain associated with them. And because they're already rolling over a spot that received rain literally less than an hour ago, we have a flood advisory that's in place through about 830. So we're not seeing huge impacts from this, but some localized flooding is definitely possible for Berrien County especially. We need the rain, just not all at once. So unfortunately, this is too too much for Berrien County at one point in time. The rest of us at least have seen a little bit of a drink of water. Now looking at the lightning count, still some flashes there, but we're not seeing any intense concentrations. That's a good sign. Usually when we see tons of lightning, it means that the storm is still very strong. So the fact that we're starting to see a lower lightning count also tells us that this storm is strong, but we likely don't have to worry about 70 mile per hour wind gusts with it. Regardless, it's tracking off to the east at a very similar speed, close to 50 to 60 miles per hour. So with that current speed, here's some arrival times for you. Some spots like Menden could see this fresh wave of showers and storms at about 620 here. Burr Oak, 630. Athens, closer to 635. And Bethel, 645. By about 7 o'clock, a lot of this activity is going to be completely clear of our area. And speaking of clear of the area, after all that wind damage in Muskegon, we're now dealing with sunshine. And if you watched us this time yesterday, we talked about how fast this line of showers and storms would move through. We talked about the fact that we'd likely see some sunshine right after they do move through. So now's the time that I'm sure everybody's getting outside and checking out some of the storm damage. If you received it, just remember there still is that off chance we could see an isolated shower pop up. So keep an eye to the sky. It won't be severe, but you could get rained on just a bit. Temperatures, huge difference here. We're starting to see the drop in Sturgis and cold water, but we had mid 80s earlier today. Now we're going to start to see the temps get flooded with some cooler conditions. In between, as we see this system roll through, there's still the potential for fast wind gusts, but that's mainly off to our east now. So Lansing, some wind gusts in the 48 mile per hour range, not impossible. Here's your future cast dragging the line out. By 1 a.m., most of us mostly clear. And through the day tomorrow, we're going to continue to see cooler air spill in. And in the afternoon, that could trigger an afternoon shower or downpour. But it looks like if it were to arrive, it would be very late. Low 70s for Thursday, back up closer to 80 for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All in all, not a bad eight-day forecast. Storm chances are fairly low after tonight.